Hello everybody, Eagle here, and this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, and as you can tell by the title, it is not clickbait, I'm no longer vegan. And uh, you know, I've been wanting to come clean with this, M majority of you probably won't pay it too much thought, but personally I feel like a portion of my identity and brand has been built upon the notion of me being a plant-based athlete. And uh, you know, moving forward, I don't want to deceive anybody. I don't want to keep this a secret, you know, for my own personal sake, but also, you know, for for full transparency reasons. I've traveled all over the country and world, and have made really amazing connections with people based off of me being, you know, first and foremost a disc golfer, but also being vegan. Um, you know, like attracts like. So. If I put out there to the world that I'm vegan, then I'm gonna attract vegans into my life. And I've made a lot of great friends. A lot of those friends I already told, but there might be a portion of my friends that don't know this. So, you know, maybe this is how they find out. Um, you know, I, I don't want to say sorry because I, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm very excited about my future, about my new diet, and uh, I'm really grateful that I was able to make this switch and be connected with the people who helped me make this switch. And I took in a lot of information. You know, I've, I've watched the Game Changers. I've watched Dr. Michael Greger. I've watched, you know, uh, a whole host of vegan doctors. And I truly believed that the vegan diet was the right diet for me. And, uh, you know, major thing I want to say, I didn't feel bad at all on the vegan diet. Um, I felt good for the most part, but I ask a lot out of my body. Uh, I travel for a living and there's times where I'm not playing as many events as I might like. Like this year has been, um, has been a weird year because I've been forced to sit on the sidelines to a certain degree because of an injury. And you know, not saying the injury had anything to do with being vegan, moving forward, I want to source the food that gives me the best energy, the best chance at recovery, and from my own anecdotes and my own research, I decided that the vegan diet wasn't meeting my needs. That doesn't mean the vegan diet might not work for you. It just wasn't exactly what I wanted for the amount of travel I was doing on the road and expecting a high level of performance out of myself. And it wasn't until last year where I started weaning off the vegan diet. If you listen to the Nate Sexton podcast interview with me on it, uh, you can hear that I incorporated fish into my diet. So I could guess you could say I've been pescatarian for the past year and a half. But it wasn't until this year where I started incorporating some eggs. But in May is when the pescatarian style diet fully fell. I started incorporating some red meat into my diet, which uh, first entailed some bison liver, which uh, I immediately noticed a huge energy increase after eating that. It was a gateway to me to start consuming other animal foods. This was all around the time that I was getting stem cells done, so I wanted to give my body the best chance of recovery from my shoulder injury with stem cells, with uh, the change of diet, more collagen. Um, that's a, a big reason why I feel like I was able to get back out on the course and start throwing with uh, relatively no pain again, uh, you know, in Europe. It was my first event eating a more animal-based style diet. And, um, you know, obviously the results spoke for themselves. You know, I'm not gonna completely give the animal-based diet uh, a lot of credit, uh, but, you know, it's definitely something that uh, I think played a, a role in my success. I can, uh, I can safely say that my energy levels, my strength has been, been greater ever since uh, incorporating um, more animal foods into my diet. I wanna keep this video to the point and uh, you know, not say too much more. Um, there's a lot more I could go over, um, but you know, I think some some, uh, some things I'd rather not say because I don't want to spark too much of an argument amongst um, the comment section. But uh, like I said, I'm not sorry. I'm excited for my future. 
And I also want to thank the vegan diet. The vegan diet gave me an incredible perspective on how I perceive food, how I perceive health, and how I perceive life. I would not be where I am without the vegan diet. It shaped me to who I am and I'm extremely grateful for it. Before signing out, I want to talk a little bit about the double G jerky and how that came to be. I was in a very transitional period of my life when we agreed to bring forth a plant-based jerky to the market. And, uh, and we agreed upon a plant-based jerky, I would say, February, March, and uh, like I said, May is when I made the transition. That was just about the drop date, and I wasn't sure if I was going to you know, continue eating meat. Um, it was a bit of an experiment. It's been an experiment up until now, but I can safely say that uh, I can foresee myself uh, continuing down uh, this path and eating the way I am eating for, uh, for the foreseeable future. It came at a time that wasn't ideal, but uh, moving forward, uh, what is on the website now is going to be the last bags of Double G Jerky that you will see with my name on it, at least in the plant-based outfit. Potentially, we may work together in the future to bring another product to market, um, but that is speculation for right now. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that and uh, just know that I didn't want to continue to uh, endorse a product that uh, didn't go with uh, my own personal integrity. And that is it, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some sort of value in this video. And to all my vegan friends out there watching, I hope that this does not upset you too much. I know when I was vegan and saw some of the, the vegan influencer that I enjoyed watching come out as ex-vegan, I was uh, a little distraught and I wanted to know why. It was, it's my own personal decision. I'm very excited about it moving forward. I feel really good and I'm excited to play on the Disc Golf Pro Tour next year. Got a lot of amazing things lined up for the off season. I'll be training with a, a trainer four to five times a week, being very active and uh, a, a new vengeance. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Until next time, guys, thank you and keep on dreaming. Peace.